large amount of teens chew gum. And there is now a study that says that more teens are experiencing migraines. Dr. Nathan Wannenberg of Tel Aviv University explains that teens that chew gum are more likely to get these headaches. A migraine is a reoccurring throbbing headache that typically affects one side of the head and is often accompanied by nausea and disturbed vision. Some causes are physical and emotional stress, lack of food, changes in routine, allergies and allergic reactions, and smoking. Sensitivity to light and dizziness cause you to have stomach pains and tiredness. A sinus headache affects your normal sinus and your sinuses, which include your septum and your inflamed sinus lining. A cluster headache pain locator is normally behind the left eye. For a tension headache, the pain locator is normally all around your head. There are many several types of migraine headaches, but most are characterized by severe pain on one or both sides of the head, which may move to the other side. Nausea, dizziness, and visual disturbances caused by dilation and constriction of blood vessels in the head. by Dr. Mortenberg was that girls would not chew gum for one whole month and see if they would have no more migraines. But after about one week of chewing gum again, the girls had recorded migraines. Gum is only flavorful for a short period of time, suggesting it does not contain much aspartame. If aspartame caused headaches, there would be a lot more headaches from diet drinks and artificially sweetened products than in gum. People chew gum well after the taste is gone, putting a significant burden on the tempumendicular joint, or TMJ. The TMJ is already the most used joint in the body. This causes stress on the head or headaches. many of them with quick and effective treatment. These treatments are without the need for expensive diagnostic tests or medications.